Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today is the Particle Gradient Force Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion where we've got an emitter set up and pretty simple. All we've got is a sphere set up as our region. And we've got a point cluster with some color over life. And we're emitting uh, 400 particles with 300 as our lifespan and 0 0.06 as a velocity. So nice and simple. And we're gonna bring in a P gradient force node and input it after our emitter. Now what the particle gradient force node does is it generates forces based off of gradients and it uses alpha values within these gradients. And the particles will accelerate along the gradients, moving from your whites to your blacks. So going from high values to low values. So to demonstrate this, let's go ahead and grab a background and we will create a gradient. And let's just kind of uh, move this around. Now we need to make sure we up our alpha on here. So it's not just black because this won't work. It needs alphas to function correctly. And that's what this green input is for. This is for your actual gradient or whatever you're using as that alpha information. So we're going to input this into our gradient force node. And let's go to our gradient force. And if we go to our region and say when it's inside the region, and we're just going to use all you can see it's starting to do something here. So if we go to our controls, we've got random seed to reseed. We've got the reseed button in the time lock. Down here, we've got the strength. And what this does is applies how strong it's being affected by that gradient. So if we go positive, it's going to be positively affected by the gradient. If we go negative, it's going to be negatively affected by the gradient. So you can see based off of our gradient, we can start moving this around to do some art direction on our uh, particles. And this strength on our P gradient just determines on how strong that's going to be. So you can see this is a fairly powerful node. It's, it's one node that definitely allows you to do some art direction and you can do kind of whatever you want with it as long as your info has alphas. So if we say brought in a fast noise and uh, let's kind of do our little art direction here on this fast noise. Let's up our contrast. Let's give it a little more detail. And we'll change our brightness up. And we're going to add some uh, seeth to this. We'll go to the end. And let's say uh, 40. And that is way too fast. Let's go to the end. Let's say four. There we go. Now we got a nice smooth seethe on our fast noise going. And we're going to input that into our gradient force. And I'm going to go to our emitter node and I'm going to shut our velocity off. So let's make that zero. And let's actually bring our emitter to the center. And uh, we'll just uh, zero them out. So now if we go to our node, you can see our fast noise is affecting that movement of our particles. And we can come into our gradient force and change our strength so it's not affecting it so much
And then we could add AP follow. And let's change our region to when inside. And we're just gonna do all. And we're just gonna move this off to the distance somewhere. And then let's add a P flock. And let's input that. And we're gonna go to our region and do the same thing. When inside the region, all. We're gonna go to our controls. Let's change this up to say uh, 20. No, we got a lot of particles. Let's change this up to 100. And our follow strength will just up a little bit. Our traction strength will up a little bit. And we'll see what we get. And our P follow definitely needs to be changed. So let's down that uh, spring action there. So we get something a little more organic going around. And all this is kind of be, being driven by our gradient force using that fast noise to tell it where to move to. And then our P follow is telling it where to go. And our P flock is kind of holding it all together. So it's not a shooting off all over the place. So you can see this is a fairly powerful node when it comes to art direction. So that is the P gradient force node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.